by saying that eat my uh, videos hard today. So, hey, what are you going to do? Real Coon series. Uh, now let's just watch this. So anyway, this is a beat em up. Like I said, it's a spin-off of the Kunio Kun series. Uh, well, I did say that River City Ransom was the most popular. I guess it's kind of like how Persona, the uh, Persona series had its following and it was kind of popular, but it didn't become mainstream until Persona 5. I guess this is sort of the same. Now, anyways, you can already see I have a file with 100%. I did get the platinum on this. And like pretty much everyone else that has gotten the platinum, I was stuck at 99% for a while. Ah, uh, yeah. From what I've read, I mean, nobody's like for sure what all you need. I mean, there's a general idea, but like, yeah, everyone's pretty much been stuck. Uh, I'm just gonna go to a new game. Uh, I'll just go with normal. So as you can see, you got your choice of two characters, or at least at the beginning, on a new game. When you do beat the game the first time, it does unlock two more players. Uh, I did play as Kyoko in my first one, but uh, so I should play as Misako, but I don't know. I mean, I, I like her moveset better. Uh, you can't take it anymore! Since when do they expect us to learn things in detention? That's it. I'm dead. Death by math. Here lies Masako, killed by numbers. I don't even go to this school. Huh? What is it, Kyoko? Ricky and Kunio! They've been kidnapped! Oh, Ricky, I'll save you! Come in, Kunio! Girls, please take your seats. No, you take them! You can't silence love, Mr. Rudis! We'll find whoever took our boyfriends and beat them into the street! Also, your lessons are boring! Yeah, what she said! going on? And well, that's just... Attention, to principal. Looks like we've got some troublemakers in detention. You kids know what to do. Oh yeah, these little tutorials pop up once you start... Yeah, trying to save their boyfriends. Just go around and beat up everyone. Also, if you want a couple of trophies right here, make sure you attack the teacher. Uh, now, these, uh, this series, you level up and gain experience, and as you uh, gain more levels, you will unlock more moves, which will really help out. There are other moves that you do have to buy at a dojo, and as you can see, whenever you beat people, they do drop money. Obviously, you're gonna want to pick that up. So as of right now, as you can square, that's what you pretty much combo with. And triangle does a heavy attack. We've also got aerial attacks. Looks like my connection kind of dropped there. Uh, so I'm gonna just exit out a little bit. I mean, it still says I'm on air, so. Guess I'll keep going. So anyway, if you want another trophy in here, uh, you have to actually, uh, die in this room. So anyway... So what's the plan? Break out Really? Did the block, or, uh, interfere in Interrupt the cutscene, I guess. Find our boyfriends 
and beat the life out of whoever took him. Good plan. Thanks. I just came up with it. Whoa, you are like crazy smart, Misako. <laughs> It's a bad time to interrupt the gameplay. Now, you can see a lot of the enemies do look similar to each other. That sort of comes, I mean, that sort of comes into play a little bit because you can recruit enemies. There'll be a tutorial on that pretty soon, I believe. As you can see at the bottom, every time you beat an enemy, you get a little. A little saying by them. Alright, right here. The last enemy in a group will sometimes bag. You can just go up to them. Press L1. Now what you can do is press L1 once the uh, little meter next to my life bar gets full. And they'll pop in and help you out. Alright, so you press start. Brings to your little menu. Just press L and R to move through certain things. Here's your move list. Just kind of tells you how to do things. Accessories. Uh, for the most part, there's only like a couple of accessories that are uh, useful, but one of them you don't get till later. Uh, there are two that you can buy in a secret shop, but uh. They're really expensive, so I never even bought them. They're not needed for the 100% completion anyway, so... Anyway, here's your recruits menu. You can see they're all shadowed out until you get one. Now, each... Like, this guy right here, uh... You can recruit each type. Uh, each, like, like, basically based on what suit they're wearing. And as far as I know, that doesn't really uh, count towards your completion. I mean, I think you need at least one of each type of enemy. So there's that. Settings. Here's your stats menu. Tells you how much you need to get to the next level. The little blank spaces right here are your items that you can buy from stores. And here's your map. The little red exclamation point. That's where we're heading. Not good. As you can see, sometimes enemies will have weapons with them, or you can just get some uh, weapons from the environment, like this trash can right here. I can pick that up. Now, weapons don't last forever. They will eventually break. You can have books that will make it so that you they last forever as long as the book is in your inventory. As far as lunch, is vegetables and rice. Don't. And I just leveled up. Every time you level up, it does really fill your life bars. Let those girls out of here. Get some stats. And as you can see, I gained a new move. The ground stomp. Oops. Basically, just press triangle on an enemy that's down on the ground. No, I was holding no weapons. I just ended up losing that instead. Yeah, if you're holding a weapon and you press triangle, you just end up throwing it. But I have a neck grab right here. Oh, this apple actually came from this vending machine. I believe you can only destroy each vending machine once in the game. I wonder who took Kunio and Ricky. I wonder who sent us that text message. Yeah, huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. Caller. That's a weird name. Damn it. Of course, it would be blocked. Oh, you know him? Come on. As you can probably tell from that cutscene, uh, Kyoko is kind of the airhead of the group. Masako is the more serious one. But then again, considering she was in detention in a school, she doesn't even go to. That was I'm probably gonna figure that out. No. Every time you do recruit a person, though, that one will take over your recruit spot, so you can only have one person at once. Uh, this right here, this is a Sabu statue. There's 25 of them hidden throughout the game. Uh, they are required for the 100% uh, completion, I believe, I think. 
Or at the very least, you get a trophy for it, so you gotta destroy them all anyway. Plus, that's how you get the uh, secret boss, fight the secret boss at the end of the game. Not sure if I'm gonna get them all in this playthrough. I might forget some. Now, if an enemy has these stars flying around their head, you can actually walk up to them and grab them, and then pressing either square, triangle, or eventually circle will allow you to do certain moves. Also, if you loiter around in a room, more enemies will show up, and eventually they'll stop giving you experience. Oh, look, it's those girls. Thought I smelled something. Hasabe! Mommy! Hey, Misako! Shouldn't you two be in detention or something? We broke out. OMG, seriously? I was joking. And I'm teaching my school to hang out here. Have you two seen Kunio or Ricky? Just like every day. Every night, actually. They've been kidnapped! I got a text! That must be so special for you. Sorry, girls, haven't seen them, but we'll, like, so let you know the second we do. Right, Mommy? Oh, for sure. Thanks. We gotta go beat up more people now. Laters. So yeah, these two, Hasabe and Mommy, they just show up every once in a while. As you can probably tell by their attitude, they don't really like you. If you've seen, you know, any teen romance movie, they're sort of the characters that... I mean, you can tell by the way they acted. Those girls they think nice. they're... Yeah, but they're crazy. Oh, uh, they the girlfriends of kitty, your boyfriends. And Ricky. What? They of course, if you've already uh, played... Relax. ...heard about the ending, you sort of broken. know the twist. It'll be a lot more broken if they ever touch my Ricky! About that ending, though, yeah, people really hate the ending of this game, or at least before the patch. I don't... I mean, I tried updating this before I start this, and it says I've got the latest version. So I don't know if I'm gonna get that ending once I beat this. Uh, I mean, you have to beat... I mean, you have to beat it with the secret boss fight anyway to get that ending. As you can see, a lot of these doors are blocked off. Welcome, students! Yep, you can hold R1 to block. If you do it just right, you will parry, like it says. But good luck getting that Today, off. I mean, there's actually a trophy for doing it ten times. Humor, but I don't know what that is. That's because you're ignorant, Timmy. Humidity stands for punching until bricks explode right towards you. Wow. Now do you understand? Not at all. Well, let's see if we can find someone to help pound the knowledge into your tiny brain. Once I get uh, most of these enemies done, I'll try and do a little. I'll try and do a couple of areas just to show it off. All thanks to puberty. With enough effort, you can get as big as me. I guess so. <laughs> You'll have to no, punch harder than that, that Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> so right there is a block. Ah, uh, puberty. Let's see if I can get a parry off. Uh, right there. Which way are we headed? <laughs> Downstairs. We'll exit through the front. Great plan. I just hope Miss. Jesus not here today. Just jump on oh, the wall. Jeez, what if she is? Press jump again. You're gonna let 300 pound security guards really... stand between you and Ricky? No. I mean, there's really only one time in the game where you have to do that, and it's during a boss fight. I mean, I think there's a couple of statues you gotta get to by doing that.
today. Show your school spirit by... Uh, you can see that lock in the middle of the screen and the chains. Uh, basically, that means you just have to beat every enemy before you can proceed. Oh, and by the way, this game has a really good soundtrack. I mean, I'm buying it sometime. And yes, you do have different grapple moves based on whether you uh, grab them from the front or the back. If you go to the left here, there's another statue over yeah. here. As you can see on that door, there's a locked icon. Basically, you come back here for a side quest. I mean, you, I can pretty much just come back after I get out of the school. Just do that right away. Also, you can see the bat I'm holding is flashing red. That means it's about to be broken. Security. Maybe she's on break. Uh oh. Out of our way, Miss Suzu. Yeah, we don't hurt you. Hurt me? <laughs> you scrawny runts couldn't hurt a fly. No way. Flies are easy to hurt. 
As part of the school defense force, it's my job to keep idiots like you from sneaking out of class. But you don't even go to this school. <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to earn extra money! Don't act like you're smarter than me. I've been in high school for seven years. Ain't nobody smarter at school stuff than Masuzu. I don't care how big or how dumb you are. We're getting out of this school right now. Yeah, we gotta save Kunio and Ricky. So go punch through another wall until you figure out how doors work. Ugh, that's it, you little turds. Time to get flushed. Get over here! So as you can see, boxes actually have a life bars. And if you, uh... Might be a little hard to see, but you can kind of see these segments. Like little spots where the uh, life bars are... Sort of bent. Once you, uh, get their life bars to that, they'll usually change your tactics a bit. Oh, so I get her to run into one of these. Whoops. But yeah, first boss Masuzu, she's not that hard. Uh, from what I understand, the majority of the characters in these games are in a whole bunch of the other games in the series. I mean, I've never really played any other game. I've played first of your Ransom a little bit. But just not that much. Now you want to get her away just so she uh, doesn't hit you. Also, she does that little bounce. Just want to get out of the way, pretty much. Also, when she charges at you, you can get her to run to these pillars. As you can also, also see, she can destroy them by doing that. close to her in the, her later stages when she uh ground pounds I mean, this game is really generous with the checkpoints the only problem is when you die you do lose some of your money Yeah, you can just hold a button wanna... to skip the cutscenes if you've already seen them before. Get over here! It's like 1.30 at night. <laughs> and I haven't really slept that much. I, I don't really sleep a lot on weekends. Honestly. Hey, excuses. Oh well. No 
sign of security. Maybe she's on break. Uh-oh. I mean, a lot of people have Out complained way, about this game being kind yeah, of hard, but I mean, it's you. not hurt that bad, me. honestly. I'm just not doing good right now. Get over here! Oh. <laughs> Than you look. Give me a real workout. I'd rather give you a hug, FYI. Stay down. I'll make us fight you again. Got a real mouth on you. Must be why Kunio likes you. Have you seen Kunio? And Ricky? Yeah, but not around here. I saw them both in Crosstown yesterday talking to someone creepy looking. Good luck finding your little boy toys. I'm surprised they'd be interested in a pair of twigs like you two. Is that a compliment, or...? Boys hate scrawny little bugs. They want a woman with meat on her bones. And I got all the meat. If you find Kunio and Ricky, you tell them the Suzu says, Hi. <laughs> Ew. Come on, Kyoko. Sorry for punching you so much. Yeah, every time you beat a boss or you like you finish a side quest, you usually get something, maybe like maybe an accessory like this. But you always get experience and money. Also the school keys, so not go back and uh get those the doors that were locked. I'm actually gonna do that before I end this first playthrough. Close to my to leveling up. Fight a few people on the way. Well, actually, I guess I'll have to fight regardless. Yeah, as you can see, that guy on the right tried to throw sand on, on me. Uh, that will kind of daze you a little bit, just, you know, open you up for combos. Actually, I shouldn't need to beat up any more enemies until I level up. Uh, I hate these guys. I don't go too far. So anyway, now you can see I got the key. I can go into here. That was locked previously. Hey, buddy. That's Mr. Body to you! What? Mr. Body? Eh, I thought it was cute nickname. I'm uncomfortable! Anyway, the door's blocked and we gotta get out of here. Can you move the trash? 
Not sure. You two look pretty heavy. <laughs> Get it? Yep. Joke is that you are trash girls. <laughs> like garbage people or something. <laughs> hey. Anyway, we gotta be somewhere and your stink cans is blocking us. Would you mind moving them, please? Yeah, I would love to. But I must finish cooking before lunch rush. However, if girls fetch my ingredients for me, maybe I can move cans of trash. Fine! What ingredients are we looking for? Ghost peppers, beans, and tomatoes. Are you write this down? Nope. Any idea where they are, Mr. Body? Stop being lazy and find my food! Fetch quest. Anyway, if you get a quest, you can just kind of press start. Then it just shows you where on the map you need to go. I mean, all those rooms were locked previously, so we just got to go find them. Just backtrack a bit. So, like, we're looking for food now? <laughs> Seems that way. Let's check the upper floors. I've seen kids selling bootleg food up there. Oh, this school is so weird. <laughs> So now you can see in the bottom left, I've got new moves available in the dojo. I mean, I'll be going to there. Oh, the, uh, new move. I don't really use it that much. But that was there. That was it right there. Hold the block. Bad example. Right there. Okay, so you can parry out of combos. That's good to know. As you can see, I grabbed the oh, beans. Now I gotta beans. fight people before yeah. I can get out of here. At least it's canned, so we can't smell it. I can still smell it.
you do die, you do lose your recruit. So that's something to watch out for. hearts by the recruits, uh, they do have life. Mmm, and still fresh. Girls did nice job. Now move the trash so we can get out of here. Why so rushed? Stay and enjoy my special goulash. 
I yeah. have bovine marrow for extra flavor. I'm gonna hurl. You're a little rushed if you don't mind. Okay, deal is deal. Go. I moved trash long ago already. <laughs> you jerk. And the way these cutscenes have been going, you almost think this is an exit, but no, it's just the freezer. I mean, all it really is is just to get you an item. Pepper spray. Oh, and you get some experience and money. Trophy, uh, if you're playing on co op mode, to catch a dodgeball thrown by your partner. I mean, if something is thrown at you, I believe you can, like, parry it just to catch it. Spot uh, longer than what you should. 
more people will show up. Uh, anyway, there are rare recruits, and that's how you kind of get them to show up, is, is by loitering in one area. Uh, this doesn't look like any now, but I mean, they're usually like zombie versions, or... But like I said, I don't think you need them for 100% completion. Just as long as you get one of each type of enemy. But anyway, I think that's about it for the school. I've done everything here that I can, so I'm just going to stop the broadcast now. Uh, thanks for watching. You know, if you're watching. <laughs>